in a new world order hell. And let's go back to Kit Daniels. Kit, you got the floor. Great reporter, making national headlines every few weeks, just going out and reporting reality. Just going to the border, watching uh, with uh, the rest of the great crew, Jakari Jackson and others. Ladon Salazar breaking that big story. The buses come across. They load on Homeland Security buses. They're taken to Greyhound buses. They're given vouchers. You interview them. They admit it. And now they've been forced to report on that. Even though we're watching the Republic burn, it's satisfying that we did our job. And I've been very critical of the Texas State Police since they got rid of the last director and went along with a lot of federal initiatives that they have put gunboats down on the border. They are getting shot at. They are still arresting violent felons. And, and up to eight times, like Arpaio said in Maricopa County, um, Arizona, they just give them to ICE, and ICE releases them over and over again. And the police are, are, are working overtime for free all over the country because I guess they really have an instinct to try to secure the borders. Uh, and uh, the sheriffs are being attacked in Travis County, everywhere else, for, for just deporting violent felons i mean that's that's evil according to the chronicle i tell you the chronicle might as well just be like a soviet rag or something here in austin i mean i can't believe how evil it is with this latest article i mean this is twilight zone level that that the states uh are, are actually trying to do something other than california and are being criticized for trying to deport aggravated felons arsonist Armed robbers, rapists, child rapists. I mean, I read 36,000 released by Obama in the last month, aggravated felons, and it's in mainstream news, and they say, release felons or you're racist. I mean, Kit, it's like I've entered the Twilight Zone. What's happening? Well, absolutely. And it's like uh, outside the alternative media, there's hardly be any, any press about it. But that's how even more bizarre it is. All right, now listen, let's get into this letter that's up on Infowars.com and been on drudge since Friday. I haven't checked if it's still up there today, but uh, so many great headlines, uh, so many important headlines up there. But, I, I mean, t tell folks what happened. They let you on the base because there's video of this. You guys always are up front. We don't lie. That's our policy. You, you told them you were coming. You went on. Yeah, we just drove, we drove up. We showed our ID to the guard at the uh, entrance. He gave us directions, and we drove on in. It wasn't, it wasn't anything like we were. Uh, we jumped the fence to get on over across to the base, just like how the illegals are getting through America. Well, if you were like the you know the the uh, railway killer who killed dozens of people and wasn't illegal, they would just release you. Or if you were a child rapist, Kit, your problem is is you're not a child rapist. Yeah, I'm just a proud American. <laughs> so continue to, to tell folks what you saw. Uh, and, of course, we have video reports, again, that got picked up big time uh, that made them angry. Well, when we uh, went to the immigration shelter, we saw hundreds, thousands of uh, illegal children, you know, playing games, playing basketball. I saw probably the biggest trash bags I've ever seen in my, la in my life. People, uh, the uh, subcontractor for Homeland Security had taken them out to the dumpster. There was three full-size 18-wheeler full tra food trailers out in the back. Uh, there was a mobile, uh, a huge RV mobile health unit for uh, emergencies for health care, which is something, absolutely something that VA doesn't do to its veterans. And what really bothered me the most was the fact that all these children are so close together that it wasn't a very sanitary operation. And it really brings fear that theoretically a incurable or a un- a disease unknown to science could easily cross the southern border and affect millions of people. But let's expand on that. That's already happened. Diseases, communicative diseases are off the chart now because of this. That's on record. It's on record also, as Senator Ted Cruz has said, that, that they use teenagers as mules. And this is a giant drug running operation. And the Texas State Police have said that and the Border Patrol to Infowars.com in video interviews we have. Yeah. And, you know, I have to emphasize the fact that. This kind of epidemic, as far as disease, has already happened in America. This is what how 80% of Native American populations died between the 16th and the 19th centuries. They had no immunity to diseases from Europe, just like how we don't have any immunity for diseases from Latin America because they're rare here in North America. Not only rare, but the uh, doctors here don't even know how to, to check for them. And by the way, the controlled press says, oh, that's racist or whatever. And sure, there's racist. There's racist Hispanics. There's racist whites. Sure, there's a bunch of white racists that are upset about all this. The point is that doesn't matter. 
everybody knows you go to Central or South America, you got to take like 10 shots and all these pills and you still get sick. I mean, th this is a real issue, folks. Yeah, and the uh, Obama, Obama administration, to top it all off, is setting the president for a media blackout. You know, for example, uh, when Jacardi and I went to uh, on UT Austin in, back in April when Obama came in town, I talked to a photojournalist for several years, and he told me that the press access was the worst he's ever seen it. And also, the White House Press uh, Association said the exact same thing. Oh, it's on record. They have university studies that show Obama's not the worst. He's double the worst. So yeah. the worst it ever was, it's double that. If, yeah, if you can control the press, you can c control the narrative. Well, look, 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 that's a great point. I'm glad you raised that. OnlyDrudgeReport.com. I hate to keep just constantly thanking Drudge. It's almost obnoxious, but only Drudge thought that was important, that they're threatening to arrest you for reporting on the illegals. Not the other libertarian or conservative media, not the liberal media, no one. Does anyone care if they're persecuting the press? Do, I mean, as a culture, as a guild, as a society, doesn't the press stick together? I mean, when they arrested Dinesh D'Souza, I got upset about it. If they arrested Michael Moore for a film, I would get upset about it. Where is the basic stick-together instinct, Kit Daniels? It's disappearing. I mean, even the Associated Press is moving toward using a robot reporter, so to speak, hiring a a software program that can write news reports. The CIA developed that 10 years ago. We told folks last year in an InfoWars story it was coming. Last week they reported AP's getting rid of the reporters. They'll just put the press release of the White House in and a robot will make it look like a human wrote it. <laughs> Talk about control. See how you whore media people, you prostitute mainstream media, sold out. You sold out your own profession, dummies. And now the new normal is going to be a media blackout on the same level as the invasion of Grenada back in 1983, when the press couldn't even get on the island for three weeks after the invasion began. All they could, once they got on the island, all they could do was report on secondhand sources on the invasion. Well, the people perish for lack of knowledge, and every listener out there, you're a journalist. You better get a video camera or a recorder, go to city council, ask questions, start a blog, a Facebook, whatever. Start reporting, and, and we'll beat them. They can't shut us all down. And the good news is police, military, media people, government folks are more upset than ever. I went through U.S. Customs last week, coming back to the U.S. Most of them were listeners. It blew me away, and we're totally freaked out. So the good news is the average person in government is more awake than the general public because they understand how serious this is. Alex Jones here for InfoWars.com. In the month of July, we have got giant specials on everything at MadeIn1776.com. The already discounted Made in 1776 t-shirts are only 1776. We have the new belt buckles that in only two weeks of sale are very close to selling out. There's only 500 of each. We're talking about Made in America belt buckles and nickeled brass. This is more than a summer blowout special. This is a new declaration of independence, but to expand the info war, we're offering the equivalent of more than five months free right now when you get a membership at prisonplanet.tv for a limited time, only $39.95 a year. That's more than five months free off the regular price. Not just this July 4th weekend, but the entire month of July at MadeIn1776.com. Molon Labe, you can take my gun from my cold, dead hands. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited